Hey folks, in this video, we're gonna be reviewing the Panasonic PT VMZ 50U 5000 lumen laser projector. So let's go. Hey folks, AJ the CEO here. If this is your first time stopping by the channel, thanks for stopping by and on this channel we focus on tips, training, strategies, reviews, and bills to help modernize your media ministry. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. So I am thankfully got my hands on a bunch of these awesome projectors, um, helping out a lot of churches here, installing these in their sanctuary, as well as in their fellowship hall. So I wanna actually review um, another projector that I got my hands on. We did the Sony laser projector, which I really like that, and the church we installed it loves that, but we got another one here. We got the Panasonic PT VMZ 50U 5000 lumen three, LCD laser projector, that's a mouthful. Um, now, this one comes in at the exact same price as the Sony one that we reviewed, but the advantage of this one, it actually will support up to a native resolution of 4K. And let me be specific on what it says. It actually says it supports a maximum 4K of 3840 by 2160 at 30 Hertz. So thankfully I have a PlayStation Pro um, here under the table that we're gonna be pushing that to the limit. So let me go ahead and grab my other phone and we're going to do a quick unboxing, all right? All right, let's go ahead and crack this thing open here. All right, so I'm liking this <laughs> somewhat. They double box this, which I like this. Makes it sure it comes in safe. But let's go ahead and let me put this phone down so I can actually pull the other box up out of here. All right, let's see. Alrighty. So we got our manual, which is very thick. Um, comes in an anti-static bag. Come on. We got all of our cables and stuff in there. And what else is in here? All right, warranty information, power cable, batteries. And I like this because the power cable actually can be screwed in to the back so it doesn't look like it's going anywhere. And, like, and it does, did also include some AAA batteries for the remote. And speaking of the remote, all right, and there's the remote. All right, so it says to make sure it looks like it's putting some. It's a dehydrated projector or something. You ever did that? Some dehydrated ice cream? Almost makes it look like that. Let me get some scissors so I can open this up. And it's wrapped inside of a wrap. <laughs> so let me put this down again. All right, so let's take out the final wrapping out of here. And let's see what we got. Very light, I'd probably say it's still, I wouldn't even say it's 15 pounds. A lot lighter than the Sony one. All right, so if we're looking on here, let's see what we got. We have a USB, RCA video in, VGA input one, and it's another VGA in, but it also is marked as it can be an out, so I'm assuming that's like a loop through VGA. Two HDMI ins. Um, two audio ends, 3.5 millimeter, a, another third one 
for red and white RCA audio in, variable audio out, a serial in connection, and we have two LAN connections, but this one is saying that it is a digital link. So in my previous video, we were talking about um, HD base T, and it says that it supports this. So we're gonna test that out. Bottom, bottom here, if my eye serves me right, these screws look like they are M4s and maybe 16s, similar to actually M4.8s. I have to see it right here. So these are M4s, but they are only eight millimeters deep for mounting on a universal mount, which I have, which is cool. Um, this is the front. I don't see if this will work as in, okay, it does unscrew, so you could use this as a tabletop if you wanted to. All right, then we have the front here with our lens. Now let's go back and look at that power again, which I skipped over. As you can see, the power has two screw ends, so once you put the power in there, that thing is not gonna come out, which I like that. All right, so outside of that, um, let's see what else the specs are. Like I said, it is 5,000 lumens and it's rated to last for 20,000 hours. Just, just like the Sony. Um, it also, what else does it say? It is running off of a three chip at 0.64 inch um, LCD. Um, aspect ratio, the native is 16 by 10. Um, dynamic range is three million by one. All right, um, what else? Optical zoom of 1.6, um, a throw distance of 2.231 by 37.664. Uh, projection size from 30 to 300. Okay, so that's cool. Um, it does have a built-in speaker, mono speaker. It is capable of ceiling mounting as well as rear projection. So you can put this behind the screen and let it project, which is cool. I might actually use that for another client. Um, like I said, it has features here um, saying, and I have a link to this as well of all the features. Um, it does say that it supports HD base T um, with audio control and network. So like I said, we're gonna test that out. Um, and I think that's it. So let's go ahead and hook this up. Like I still have the, um, the Ori HD base T that I was using a while ago, and we're going to have this hooked up to this and we're going to see what we get out of it. All right. Excuse my mess. We have our, my PlayStation plugged in to the HD base T. And we're running that all the way over here. That's where I got this projector set up so I can hit up against this wall here. All right, so let's go ahead and turn everything on and see if we can get everything initially set up. All right, we got our image and as you can see, we're going through just the only thing we have plugged in is the CAT6 using the Ori HDMI extender HD base T. So this is my PlayStation 4 Pro. Let's go ahead and see if we can adjust this one more time. And you can hear the sound that's coming through here. I was getting ready to say I was gonna see if I can go a higher resolution, but I forgot I am using the extender that only supports 1080p. Um, so I'm gonna have to move the PlayStation over here and hook it up directly to see if we can test out this uh, 4K signal. All right, so we have the PlayStation Pro connected directly over HDMI in, and now I have the projector connected over my regular home network so let's switch our input now let's go ahead and log in and let's see what 
resolution we can get on this now. It could do 4K, but I am, it's definitely not giving me that option. All right, maybe it's the cable. Let me switch out the cable here. All right, so it says, it's saying it's detecting that it can actually go higher. So we have to see if we can play around with that. So pretty much had a couple of scenes from um, me and my daughter here watching Captain Marvel on Disney Plus. And I have to say, granted, it's not 4K, but it is a very, very beautiful picture. Um, and I think based off of uh, this is about going to be the distance where I'm actually going to be setting this up at the church. So I think it's going to be a really cool. I can always get this a little bit bigger. Um, I'll play around with those settings. But like I say, I am really happy with this. And I think that I think that the client will be very happy as well. So I will place a link in the description to this model and everything like that. And I'll put a couple more images up here so y'all can sit back and enjoy what it looks like. Now, again, this is just on a regular wall. I'm looking forward to seeing what this looks like when it's actually on the Elite screen that I got, which we'll be doing a review of that one when we actually install it, because there's no point in me opening that up right now. So anyway, if you like this type of content, I would appreciate a like, consider subscribing, and hit that bell, that way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. This is AJ, we'll see you on the next video later.